<笑>ドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ And welcome to another episode of the Pipcast Ponies. I am your host, Pip Petals, and this is my co host, Jazz Hooves, who apparently is a very talented kazooist. <laughs> I have to say, I'm not normally a fan of kazoo music, but you are rocking that! Thanks, Pip! I think it's just pure excitement. I have dreamed about meeting today's guest since I was a little Philly, so I went all out! <laughs> I can see that. And what are you wearing? Maybe you could talk me through this outfit of the day, Jazz. It's kind of, um, well, it's, it's very fan pony chic. I know! I couldn't decide what to wear, so I just wore everything. I've got my replica tiara, my regal robe, and check out my totally royal h o o k e Super gorge! Loving that deep purple, and <gasps> are those tiny golden tiaras? Um, please remind me later to ponygram those hooves, but I am loving this enthusiasm. And ah, look! I even made a sign! What do you think? I was born to be a princess. Please adopt me? <gasps> oh, Jazz, then we'd be sisters. Yeah, live in a castle. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I just got a message that she's here. Okay, now Pip Squeaks, in case you haven't already figured out who our special guest is today, please help me welcome to the show the always fashionable, coolest ruler of Zephyr Heights, the best mother ever. Queen Hayden! Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah! <laughs> Go on! <laughs> well, hello, my darlings! Cloudpuff Hush! After all these years, he still hasn't gotten used to the trumpets! There now, that's better! Well, I must say, that was such a kind introduction! Pip, I never knew that you thought I was. Cool. Um, duh, of course. Where do you think I got it from? <laughs> well, I suppose that's true. And hello, Jazz. I love you, Queen Haven. I'm your biggest fan. Are you actually here? Because I have had this dream before, and then I wake up, and you're not really. Wait. Did Queen Haven just say my name? Jazz, 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 Jazz. She's just a normal pony like us, remember? Normal Wait, pony. Please. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like us. Wait. You're a princess, and we're friends, right? Exactly. You can totally handle royals. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Heen Graven. I mean, Keen Hayden. Ah,、uh, Queen Haven. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too, Jazz. You know, I am a big fan of the show. I never miss an episode. I love the episode where you interviewed Pip. It was so sweet. <gasps> a compliment from the Queen? <gasps> Jazz, call my pony. Don't worry, Pip. She just fainted. You'd be amazed how often that happens. She'll come around in a few minutes. Um, if you're sure. Just have a little snooze, Jazz. You'll feel better when you wake up. <clears throat> okay, now should we get started? Wait, where's Zip? Oh,、uh, well, um, I guess you didn't see her message. Um, no. Don't tell me she's not coming. This was supposed to be a family interview. What did her message say, Mother? <clears throat> It says Hey, Pip. Can't do the interview on the trail of some epic clues. Podcast rain check. Ugh, that pony and her clues. She's always running around trying to solve mysteries. g a h I know she loves it and all, but ugh, it's so annoying. Well, I'm looking forward to some special and very rare mother daughter time. It's not that often that it's just the two of us. Aww, spoken like a true peacemaker. <sighs> I guess you have settled your fair share of squabbles between me and Zip, haven't you, mother? <laughs> it's happened a few times over the years. But really, considering how different you two are, not as much as you'd think. Yeah, we are very different. I mean, for example, when I say that I am going to come to be on some pony's podcast, I wouldn't send a last minute text and totally no show because that's rude! Well, that may be true, but I can think of a few times over the years that you have let your sister down too. Remember Zip's birthday party last year? Oh, yeah. But I just I thought she would love a giant surprise karaoke party. Really? You threw a party for your sister to be on stage and singing because you thought she would like that? <laughs> yeah. 
it's possible that I was thinking more about myself and what I thought would be fun than what Zip wanted. See? And don't you think you could cut Zip a little slack for today since no pony is perfect? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Okay, okay, I see what you're doing here. Zip Storm, if you're listening out there, I forgive you, but you owe me an interview, okay? Now, speaking of parties, I feel like a little groove is just what I need to shake off this sisterly tension. (laughs) Did you bring your dancing hooves, Mother? Oh, I always have my dancing hooves, darling. Let's bust a move. (laughs) Hey, Jossie, babe, it's time for a pony dance party, party, party! (laughs) Whoa, she's still out like a light. Okay, don't worry, Jazz, I got this one. Come on, Pip Squeaks, get up and dance with us! Kicking off this party, all my ponies oh, feeling good! Right. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Mom! Right. Yeah, I, blow the roof. <laughs> I know it's gonna rain, D-L-I-double-T-E-R! Look at you go! Not too shabby yourself, Pip. Woo. I haven't moved like that in many moons. Oh, we really should do this more often. Um, totally. I would love that. But being queen keeps you so busy. That's why it means so much to me to have you here today. I know how hard it is for you to get away from all your queenly jobs. It's true. As queen, I do have a lot to do. But I'm never too busy for my daughters. Thanks, Mom. It must be strange, though, living in that huge castle all alone. You're not lonely, are you? Well, I miss you and your sister dearly. But I'm not alone. And of course, I always have my little cloudy puffy poo. Good boy, Cloud Puff, keeping Mom company. And there are so many new problems to solve since magic has returned. Being able to fly again has turned Zephyr Heights upside down. Upside down? <laughs> Why? Well, we've had to create all new sky paths in the air to keep ponies safe while they're flying. You wouldn't believe how many crashes there were at first. Oh, yeah, there were a lot of problems with collisions in Maritime Bay, too. You know, being able to fly still totally, like, amazes me. Oh, do you remember all those years we pretended that only royals could fly? I think about that a lot, Pip. And you know what? I really wish I would have had the courage to tell the truth. Yeah, but all the kings and queens of Zephyr Heights pretended to be able to fly. It's... Just how things were done. True, but just because it's how it's done doesn't make it right. You know, one of the lessons I've learned since getting magic again is that nothing feels better than being honest. Now, don't get me wrong, it can be hard, but telling the truth always feels good. Phew, Pipsqueaks, I hope you are soaking up all of this Queen Haven wisdom. And actually, on that note, I have a teensy, weensy, itsy bitsy little confession to make. Go on. Remember that antique hoof mirror on your vanity? Pip pedals! You did I did! I broke it! I am so sorry that I lied about it well, all these years. Uh, your sister must love you very much because she told me that she broke it. <gasps> she did? What? Aw, Zip. She has always looked out for her little sister. I know. So, how does it feel? Better now that you've gotten it off your chest and told the truth? Oh, so much better. <laughs> that is such good advice. <sighs> Hoof to heart. You really are the best mom ever. Oh, Pip. This has been such a lovely <laughs> chat. I've really enjoyed it. <sighs> Wait, what? Why am I on the ground? What happened? (gasps) Did I miss her? Queen Haven! Hello again, Jazz. I hope you feel refreshed. (sighs) Gotcha! Come on, Jazz. (sighs) Stay with us. Stay with us! I think I'm... (gasps) Okay. Well, you better be, because we need you for the next segment. Mom and I can't play Once Upon a Time without you. Oh, I love Once Upon a Time. I love Once Upon a Time, too. That means we have something in common, Your Majesty. We certainly do, Jazz. I'd say we probably have more in common than you think. The only thing is, I don't faint 
quite as much as you do. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome, welcome, welcome to a game we like to call Once Upon a Time. Now the rules are simple. All you have to do is create a funny, silly story with your best pony pals. The only trick is that you have to create the story together, one word at a time. Queen Haven, want to start us off? It would be my pleasure, Jazz. (laughs) She knows my name. Once upon a time, there were 97 baby dragons with disgustingly stinky breath. One morning, they ate Peppermint. And suddenly they sneezed billions of <gasps> magnificent glittery. Uh, uh, my mind is going blank. You can do it, Jazz. Come on, last word. Dinosaurs. Huh? Dinosaurs? Oh, no. The dragon sneezed billions of magnificent glittery dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that game. You always end up with the silliest of stories. (laughs) Is it that time already? I feel like we just started. Uh, Well, you did sleep for most of the show, Jazz. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Okay, Mother. It's time for the last segment of the show. A little bit we like to call... The main five. I love this part. You ask all the guests the same five questions, and I have to answer with the first thing that comes to mind. (gasps) Mom, you really do listen to our show. I guess you could say I'm the queen of the pipsqueaks. I love that. Okay, first question. Queen Haven, what is your favorite food? Easy, carrot cake. Glitter or no glitter? I do love a bit of bling, so glitter. And what are you reading right now? Oh, traffic laws for new Pegasus sky paths. It is very boring. Song that always gets stuck in your head? Well, I still have that party, party, party song in my head from earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Gonna party, party, party. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) And last question. Queen Haven, what is making you happy right now? Oh, I'm thankful for so much, Pip. But there are two things that are making me happy right now, and that is you and your sister. I couldn't ask for smarter, sweeter, more amazing daughters. Oh, Mom. Thanks. And I saw your sign earlier, Jazz. It feels like you're already part of the family. Right, Princess Jazz? Princess Jazz? Really? Oh, come on, you two. Bring it in here for a royal hug. Mm. Oh, well, that's it for today, Pipsqueaks. And every pony got their happily ever after. Join us next time for another amazing ep of the Pipcast. And remember, life is magical. And And so so are are you. you. Bye. 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 (laughs) Thanks for listening. (laughs) I've never done a podcast before. Thanks for listening, ponies. If you want more Pip, you can see her and her friends in two new shows. Tell Your Tale, now on YouTube, and Make Your Mark, now streaming on Netflix. For more episodes, subscribe to My Little Pony, the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you listen. If you liked the podcast, make sure to leave a rating and a review on your favorite podcast app. My Little Pony, the podcast was produced by Entertainment One, a Hasbro company. Starring AJ Bridell as Pip, Sam Belansky as Jazz, and Amanda Martinez as Queen Haven. Executive produced by Sasha Tong and Natalie Verdugo. The senior producer was Adrian Muhajirin. The associate producers were Chris Chu and Parishi Pavari. Editing, mixing, and sound design by Adrian Muhajirin. Featuring music by Benjamin Pinkerton and the Wilders Music Group. See you next time, ponies!